Who's ready for another bedtime story? I know it's been a while. I'm pretty excited. Let's get to it. Green Beret Benny Adkins had heard from various recon teams that the artillery in every direction had their sights set on their tiny walled-in base in the middle of the Aishal Valley, deep in Vietnam. They were preparing for the inevitable shit to go down. At 4 a.m. on March 9, 1966, shit went down. In fact, it came raining down on their heads. A hail of heavy mortars were coming from every direction. So Atkins dove towards the first mortar he could grab and started hurling hot lead back in every direction he could. An enemy mortar finally hit his position and blew him clear out of the pit, but with hot shrapnel burning through his back, he dove right back in and continued firing mortars for the next three hours. Word spread to Atkins that some of his guys were pinned down just outside his position, so he dashed through the machine gun, sniper, and mortar fire to grab each one of them and drag them back to the medical tent. When the evac choppers arrived, Atkins saw a two-ton truck loaded with enemy soldiers coming right for them to light up the entire airfield. Atkins barreled towards them with hot barrels of, oh no you fucking don't. He thwarted the attack and drove them away from the airfield so the choppers carrying the wounded could take off. Then came the enemy infantry assault. Vietnamese soldiers came pouring out of the tree line, so Atkins got back to the mortars. When he ran out of ammunition, he grabbed the bazooka, then his M16. Even after the entire enemy side had been napalmed from above, he ran into the burning hellfire to stab every last Viet Cong in their own communications tent. God damn, does that give me a war boner. But then he had been wounded 18 times, taking a lot of shrapnel, and on his way back out to safety, he had to fight off a fucking tiger. Benny Atkins was awarded the Medal of Honor on September 15th, 2014. Hope you enjoyed the story tonight, kids. Have a good night.